supported by both parties, especially restoring fairness to our broken tax code and cutting taxes for hardworking Americans. That's Sarah Huckabee Sanders uh, at the podium. Karen Travers, ABC News White House correspondent. There was a dinner last night at the White House, and reports are, Karen Travers, that uh, Donald Trump was cozying up to the Democrats. What's going on? <laughs> I know. There's this, like, outbreak of bipartisan fever in Washington all of a sudden. But, you know, we'll see how long it lasts. Right now, though, the White House is definitely acknowledging that they learned lessons from the health care failure. And they're going about this tax reform approach a bit differently than what they did over the past couple of months. They're reaching out to Democrats. Now, does that mean that Democrats are going to ultimately sign on to the president's plan? Not necessarily, but they're in the conversation right now. And the White House also says that they're consulting earlier with conservative groups on the outside ahead of any actual legislation to bring them into the conversation. Conversation too. So interestingly, they're checking a couple boxes that they certainly did not check with health care. Yeah. Uh, do we have any idea when this health care proposal might be released? <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned is what the White House says. Yesterday, senior officials said maybe in the coming days we'll see a detailed plan on tax reform because there isn't anything yet. And that's important, I think, to keep reminding people. The president a few moments ago tweeting that the approval process for the biggest tax cut and tax reform package will begin soon. But there is no package yet. So Everybody can talk about principles. Everybody can talk about wanting to work together. But once the numbers, once the nuts and bolts are on paper, that's when the fighting and the wheeling and dealing starts. It really is interesting how he has done a 180 and is how sort of now embraced Democrats. And I wonder if that's because Democrats are now embracing him because Democrats mm -hmm. said early on, we're, we're not going to touch health care. I think there's a couple things. One, uh, it's that there's no real love lost right now between the president and Mitch McConnell. And I think the president is um, skeptical, suspicious, uh, not trusting of McConnell. Certainly, he's made that very clear just in public tweets that he doesn't think he's getting the job done. And then I think you also throw in the fact that the White House is not confident that this big priority for the president, tax reform, something he talked about all the time on the campaign trail, they're not confident they could get it across the finish line counting just on Republicans. They have to do this outreach right now to Democrats. And, you know, that's kind of the reality that the White House is looking at up on Capitol Hill because Republicans are so divided. So let's just say you assume you're going to lose a handful of them. If you could bring in a handful of Democrats with some things that they might sign on to, you could get something done. Yeah. The president is so antsy for a big bill signing ceremony. I think he's looking at any corner for where he can get support. It's interesting. The Republicans were united against Obama, and he could mm -hmm. never pick off a few, a couple, to get anything yeah. done uh, for legislatively uh, that he wanted. It'll be interesting to see if the Democrats stick together or if the Democrats leave their party mm -hmm. and cut a deal with Trump. And, and this is what we saw last week with Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi here. You know, they the leadership sees a window of opportunity of like, look, he's reaching out to us. He knows he needs us. You have senior White House officials telling reporters that that's the reality that they're facing. So if you're the Democratic leadership, you're going to try and leverage that for all you can. You might not get anything out of it, but you're certainly going to try. Yeah. Karen Travers, quickly, Hope Hicks, now the third mm -hmm. White House communications director. Do we, what do we think? of that. You know, she's been with the president since day one. She has a long history with the family. She worked for Ivanka Trump before this, and they clearly trust her. You know, sometimes these things, when you get an interim title ahead of your name, <laughs> they tend to become permanent. We weren't surprised that this was announced yesterday. All right, there you go. Karen Travers, have a good day.